I know that one of your new year resolution is to buy a land in this year 2024 or maybe buy a house in this year 2024. So if that is you, then you really want to watch this video to the very end because in this video, I am going to be telling you the mistakes to avoid if you're interested in making that dream come through without any story that will touch your heart badly. Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to be looking at mistakes, real estate investment mistakes to avoid in the year 2024. My name is Raymond E. Jema and I am the lawyer at the Lost Real Estate. If you like the real estate entrepreneur that is law as a tool in the best interest of my client, this video is brought to you by Fortrade Ray Limited, a real estate company right here in the city of Abuja. And we are passionately committed to ensuring that you get the best of real estate here in this city. And of course, Nigeria by extension. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment, and basically stay in touch because we are absolutely committed to you and ensuring that you get the best information as it relates to investing in real estate. That's why we don't just share the opportunities or strategic investment opportunities with you. We also want to educate you. In fact, we also educate you so that you know how to safely and rightly invest in real estate. And now that it's a new year, here 2024. All right, so let's get started into the conversation. So the truth about it is for you to be successful doing anything, it's important that you have clarity of purpose in the very beginning. This applies to all human activity and it's not different for real estate. If you want to be successful in investing in real estate, you want to be a successful investor, then you definitely have to start with clarity of purpose. And that is why in this year 2024, the very first mistake you should not make is just making money and jumping into real estate investment. You have to make sure that you have clarity of purpose as it relates to specifically having a plan Knowing your purpose, is it a commercial investment you want to make? Is it a residential investment you want to make? Is it a land banking business you want to go into, right? And even in that land bank, you want to ask yourself questions like, is it short-term land banking or is it long-term land banking? And I've done a video about short-term and long-term land banking, and you definitely have to watch or check out that video in uh, this particular channel, right? So you have to ask yourself some spe specific questions. For example, in a place like Abuja, you don't just build whatever you like. I think this largely applies to any planned city or any city that has a town planning authority, right? So you have to understand that there are certain places that are committed, some certain places are, are for public use, some certain places are for commercial purposes, certain places are for residential purposes, right? So you have to understand what you are looking at investing into so that you invest in line with what works and the location that allows such type of investment. So that is very important. In fact, at the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you a major formula. In this formula or in that formula rather, I'm going to just be giving you a simple three sentence formula that helps you make the right decisions all throughout or the right real estate decisions all throughout this year, 2024. So you may want to watch to the very end. So the very first mistake you should avoid making in this year, 2024, if you want to be successful with your real estate investment is to not just make the money and jump into buying any property that comes your way. You just definitely have to have a plan and know your purpose and invest right in line with that purpose. The second thing, uh, for some of the uh, other points I'm going to give, I'm just going to just walk you through them or state them. The next point is don't pay cash. Don't pay cash to anybody. Uh, and, uh, in my opinion, don't, don't just pay cash. In fact, uh, there's a money laundering uh, 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 provision of the law against certain types of transaction, uh, especially in terms of amount, five million and above, or 10 million and above, depending on who you are dealing with, right? So that's already uh, as a way of discouraging that kind of thing, but generally try to avoid paying cash. One of the reasons for that is that when you pay in, in, in uh, electronically or through a bank transfer, there's received, there's received or proof of payment uh, forever you know, that kind of thing. So generally, don't, don't pay cash, in my opinion. Number three, involve a property lawyer or do your due diligence. Emphasis on the word a property lawyer. There's criminal law, right? There's marine law, there's entertainment law. Law is a very wide field. I am a lawyer, like I said, in the beginning, but the truth about it is I don't know every area of law. I don't know every area of law. And this applies to every lawyer that you know or every lawyer that has gone through the law school. The law is too wide for one person to know every angle of it. 
In fact, because it's, it's law, you have to know, you have to focus, have a niche, and stay there and grow your experience in that regard. You can't be a practical law today, tomorrow you're a criminal lawyer, next tomorrow you're a marine lawyer, uh, next day you are, you are into entertainment, the other day you are into intellectual property. Law is too wide to, for someone to call himself a, a, a learned person in all areas of law. I understand that we lawyers, we say we're learned, but the truth about it is we don't know everything, right? So there are certain times you should call me to do something. In fact, if it's outside the property law, really, uh, I, can good, I could just give you basic ideas or basic, uh, uh, basic advice or basic opinion on the other areas of law. But when we want to go deep, then of course, um, uh, I would only prefer to stay in property transactions. The reason I'm saying this is not so that you reach out to me. The reason I'm saying this is so that you will learn because I can, at this point, give you a lot of stories that back up this claim. In fact, let me give you just one example in that regard. So I have a friend who is an award-winning lawyer in an area of law. When I say an award-winning lawyer, not one, not just an award, a, a recognized award-winning lawyer, he's into uh, he, reputable firms use him for an area of law. Right, but I mean, a few months back, he reached out and wanted to prepare a title document, and was asking me the most basic question about preparing a title document, right? And that clearly tells you that it's not it's not just about being a good lawyer, being a lawyer. There has to be a niche, right? I've seen several title documents that don't make sense, and and. Of course, clients are not supposed to know everything as well, or they can't know everything as it relates to law. It's five years university, one year law school, plus all of the experience. So clients or people who are not lawyers may not know it all. So certain, certain mistakes that I see in documents are not the client's fault or the company's fault. Rather, it is the lawyer who prepared the document, the lawyer who did this thing, right? So again, the emphasis here is either involve a property lawyer, not just a lawyer that does it. Really, even in a place like Abuja, where there's serious uniqueness in the administration of the sector, the real estate sector in the city. You have to bring in the lawyer that understands real estate in the city, right? Not just a lawyer that, that is registering companies for people, right? So you have to understand that property lawyer, a property lawyer must be involved, right? And if you want to do due, due diligence yourself, maybe you can, but there's a level or to, there's an extent to which you can know. So the third mistake you should not make this year is to go into real estate transaction without involving a property lawyer, a property lawyer. I don't advise you do you do due diligence yourself. I don't advise you doing that. Um, if I let me give you, no, let's let's move away from that. Uh, a lot of stories and instances are coming to my mind, and I just want to make this as brief as possible. The next point, which is number four, is carry out inspection. Carry out inspection or get to see the property physically, right? carry out inspection and get to see the property. The next one after that is involve a third party. Involve a third party. If you don't trust, I mean, um, we have a lot of transactions that happen without um, clients involving third parties, but we always encourage, right, so that the person double checks or makes certain confirmations of our watch. And of course, the person has, has to have the right intentions, right, because with the right intention, the person will only be able to, uh, will only corroborate or confirm the things that we are doing. Right, so involve a third party if you can. If you don't have, then of course, if you trust the broker, the professional, then why not, right? But in my opinion, um, one mistake you should not make in 2024 is just doing related transactions. If you don't trust the person, then always involve a property lawyer. The next is never ignore the root of title. Root of title is critical for every related transaction, right? And there are different types of title and kinds of title documents. Or there are different kinds of titles and different types of title document. Each of these have their role, right? There's a status and there is a proof of that title. Time will fail me to explain this, but what I'm trying to say here is that when you're doing real estate, and that's why if you involve the right professionals in this, then largely you are good to go because some of all of this in between that you may not know or have a deep knowledge of, the professional will help you to to uh, guide you away from that or help you do the right thing at that point, right? But just never ignore root of title. And the last one I'm just going to add here is ensure your recital is complete and title competently flows to you. Don't just buy the land. Don't buy land in 2024 as though you are buying an iPhone. Right? That's the point. Don't buy land in 2024 as though you are buying an iPhone. How do people buy iPhones? They just walk into a store and then they um, pay, pay transfer money and, and call the person issues a receipt. 
when the issue receipt then is yours. For some occasions, no receipt even comes in. You've carried the phone, you've carried it, right? So don't buy a land like that. There are procedures and steps to buying a land safely. And after the transaction happens, make sure that title, interest, and ownership flows to you from the person you bought from. In this year, 2024, don't just buy land. Don't just transfer money. Because there are two stages to real estate transactions. There's the transactional level and there's the conveyancing level. After the transaction is done, the conveyancing part has to come in. Right? So don't make the mistake of just transferring money or doing or leaving or ending your transaction at the transactional level. The conclusion of what I have said here in this video is to avoid uh, issues or stories that touch in the year 2024, have a plan. These are the three Ps, the three Ps. Have a plan, know your purpose, and involve a professional. I guess I should say, you should say this after me. Have a plan, know your purpose, and involve a professional. And with this, you definitely will be good and you'll be able to avoid mistakes or uh, making any mistake or real estate mistake in the year 2024. So I guess that's all I have for you today and this was absolutely valuable. I know that for myself because you don't find this everywhere. My name is Raymond Dijoma and I am the lawyer that lost real estate. Or if you like the real estate entrepreneur that is this law as it's in the best interest of my clients. This video was brought to you by Fortress Ray Limited. Uh, you may want to subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment, and don't forget to reach out whenever you have um, any need that relates to real estate or maybe further questions that you need clarifications on. And uh, I guess a good point to say I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.